First, first glance. glance. First glance. First glance. First glance. First glance. Glancy glance. This is a first glance. Glance. Oh. The Last oh. Mermaid, number one, published by Image Comics, written and drawn by Derek Kirk Kim. Another duo. What? Duo, duo of what? Yes, another, a, du- a, dual, a du- duality. Another dude. A double dose. Another double, man's world. A, du- a double dose of Derek Kirk Kim. This is a man's world. Talk about Wavid. This is this is hard to talk about um, because, well, actually, it's easy to talk about, but it's yeah, also it's hard to talk easy. about. What? Explain yourself. Because I want to know more. Like, there's like, not much happens, but there's a lot told. Yeah, it's this is definitely a atmospheric book. Yes. It, you fall into it, and you're already kind of greeted with the artwork and the art styling and the simplicity of it. Right? Like, this is not a crazy paneling and breaking like different grid patterns. This is what like a six six grid pattern, <laughs> very standard. Nothing really changes, but. Uh, the color palette is the environment is golds, oranges, yellows, very bright and hot. And our titular character, the little mermaid, is that what she's called? The last, last mermaid. mermaid. Last mermaid, sorry. Copyright infringement is uh surrounded in aquas and blues and water esque. So there's always a contrast between what the character is feeling and what the character is going through, literally. And there really is only two characters in this. Well, two, I guess, two and a half. But uh, the mermaid and her axolotl, Lottie. San Francisco is a character as well. Okay, fine. Like Saxon the city. And then there's the one. There's the one guy in the hood who kind of looks like um, that guy maybe the guy from uh, what book was that? Killock. <laughs> he's, he's got the he's yep. got the the wraith. That's a yeah. He looks like the yeah. wraith kind of. That's who I thought of myself. Um. We, yeah, yeah, it's we, we don't know anything about this character. Like yeah. she shows up with a mech, and this mech has two arms, two legs, but basically a big fishbowl. Fish yeah. yeah, where her and her aquatic friend Lottie are, are counting down. I guess the minutes and the moments and the seconds before that water turns toxic and they can no longer breathe in it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. So it's like, like you said, this big fishbowl, but it starts out, it is a mech, but it also has wheels too. So it transforms from like mechanized to car. And they're in this world, this land of just sand. Yeah, it, it looks very uh, apocalyptic. Yes, very. And she's got gills so that <laughs> they show off her gills, obviously. Yeah. And there's this water and um, she wakes up and they're buried in sand. So you can kind of see, assume that She's been there for some time. Right. Maybe. We don't and, know. Well, the water is super toxic. It's at like eight, they, oh, they start and it's like 86% toxic yeah. already. I don't know if that it's attributed to the sun beating down on it. Like if this was a cool yeah. situation, if that water could have sustained longer. Or if it's just that. them breathing it in and out, right? That's true. It's carbon dioxide it's water. Just now. going in and out of them. So I, I'm assuming that adds lends to the toxicity. But uh, yeah, they turn to a mech because the, the tires don't spin in the sand, obviously. So... A super big oversight for someone that developed a water sustained <laughs> mechanism not to have a better filtration system. Oh, I thought you were gonna say someone who's trying to use wheels and sand. Also also <laughs> true. Like how are you this how are you not this prepared for a world that could kill you in so many easy ways? And that you have like I and I, for me Lottie is kinda like the canary that uh coal miners take down. Yeah. Into the caves and like once the once Lottie dies, like then I know we gotta get out of the cave kind of shit, right? So yep. I like that indicator. I like the fact that they keep cutting to the actual indicator on the ship that says, "Oh, like your time's running out." So there's all there's like basically a working clock as you read through this comic, and the splashing between the colors, right? Like, yeah, it's really it, it very it uh, contrasts a lot. Like you're saying, yeah. the orange is the hot, and then the blue is kind of very cool. And then as the toxicity grows, you see the blue kind of pales, right? Yep, really and cool. then uh, the moment—I don't know how much we're revealing—but basically, those two worlds start to bleed into each other when shit becomes very dire for the inhabitants of the fishbowl. I mean, I don't know how much we, we can share more. I think I think at this point they're on like issue 
three. Yeah. Possibly. So. Well, I don't know if uh, we're coming back to this. I'm, I'm going to keep going with it. I don't know if we're coming back to this. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know if we're coming back to it, but I'll, I'll keep going. On. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> I do find it hilarious that they go chasing for food, and that's how shit goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah, they wake up, and let's go find some water, and then shit it's just that little, falls Whatever apart. critter that like pops up, like it's a Ice Age, whatever that squirrel is, sort of appears, and then they start to chase that, and then it goes from bad to worse. No, it was a squirrel. It was like this. It was like some mutant, like crab. crab. It looked like some crab bug thing, but it was furry too. I don't know what it was. It was something. I'm equating it to Ice Age for anyone that's listening. Fair enough. This already. Fair Um, enough. But yeah, it had more than two eyes, so it definitely wasn't a squirrel. Yeah, yeah, had pincers as a mouth. (laughs) Yeah, and a tail. It was pretty cool. Yeah, but they chase it down, and you know, yeah, the world started to collide in a way, and it's there's very very little dialogue in this. Like actual dialogue, because it's just that Lottie can't talk. Yep. So the mermaid, when she does speak, is just speaking to him. I feel it works. It's a it's a it smooth works. read. Oh, yeah, and you're really drawn into the art styling of it. But because it's so such a simple drawn out panel, like I feel like that takes away because yep. there's a lot of repetitiveness. And it's like okay, you look at Lottie's face, you look at Lottie's face again, you go a little closer to Lottie's face. It's like you got to give me something here to keep me hooked other than we need water yeah that's 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 why i want to read a second issue because this one is very very light so i was like okay i'll try a second because i don't really understand what's going on <laughs> like they're looking for water and they see the little monster the little critter right. and they're like okay let's follow that thing yeah which is probably a good sign that you can survive here if this guy's surviving right mm-hmm. if you want to find out what his source is but isn't that an indicator that I don't want to read for her? If you couldn't sell me in the first issue with something oh, that pulls me in. At all, eh? I, again, I appreciate the art styling, but where you miss me is the paneling. Because you gave me such a traditional... Well, it's one, either five, one, it was one, like one, five one. to eight, right? Yeah, and you're not telling me... You're basically telling me the whole... And you're not getting me with dialogue. You're trying to tell me the entire story through the artwork and through kind of the art stylings of it. And it's not dynamic. I can't use dynamics on a word I would use, right? Like, I'll talk about contrasting colors, and it looks very pretty. But, like, take a chance, right? Especially with so many panels where things break and crack and crumble. It's such an easy way to, like, break the fourth wall, if you call that a fourth wall, and actually break the borders and kind of have fun with this. Like, imagine this book pouring down like sand or dripping through like water and you get flowed through the pages. Instantly. Oh, something that you'd like a more fluid. Cause I was actually going to ask, what would you think of just single panel splash pages every time? That, or again, what you're suggesting, something that's jagged like rocks, like completely immerse me into this world, right? Like if this is the last days and I'm on this hot plane, like stretch it out, like make me feel like I'm stuck here not just reading from this basically silent girl. Cause she's not captivating enough to say anything. She might not have anything to say, or she may not need to say anything, but I'm the reader. So if you can't keep me engaged with just a simple story, right? And there's nothing really captivating that happens in the first one, right? Like, they basically trip and fall, like, "Uh uh-oh, shit broke. What's going to happen now? It's like, do I care? Not with what you've given me. Well, I mean, to be fair, the, the last pages, they blend into the white of the background as things kind of as the worlds blend so to speak but so you need to wait to the last two pages before you finally get yeah, engaged with the I'm, just, I'm, tr- I'm trying to think i'm trying to be, be a devil's advocate because you've yeah, already yeah. you've already co-signed like it, yeah. yeah you and it's not that i don't like it it's like there's nothing there to want me to turn the page and that's the greatest gift of a comic book is like i need to know what happens on the next page I yeah can't and wait and my rule of thumb usually is i read before i, I read two issues before i judge because the first issue is always kind of like the Wait, if you're a fish and you right. see that hook, you mm-hmm. see that bait, it's like, okay, I'll take that bait. And then you get hooked, right? So that's that's kind of how it works. The first issue is always the dangle. The second issue, sometimes third issue, but I usually give it two and then you kind of see what's, what it's about. But the first one is just meant to like, just literally grab you. Didn't work for you, I guess. No. But, and I feel like the things that you could have done to do that were very easy, right? We've all played Sonic and you know anytime he's underwater and how he starts struggling for air and you see the gasping and you feel that 
That's with sound effect, right? So if you constantly had a toxicity meter falling through that like the book started at 60 and by the time we reach it it's at 90 like that's the clock that's on the wall i can't avoid that that's something oh, on every single page yeah that'd be interesting that'd be cool like every every sort of move that she makes in the machine it exerts more toxicity with the water right like if you stay still you could probably last longer but you're not going to survive you have to make more chances and those more chances more problems happens to your environment that I feel more tense, right? There's, there's not enough tensity. There's not. I don't see enough stakes here, other than, oops, it cracked. Yeah, this point, <laughs> yeah. I'm well, laughing. It's like, oh, because well. your own, your own screw up. Yeah, you chased a mm, crab squirrel thing, right? So, yeah. while it looks very good, I feel like, especially, and then again, I'm harder on someone that's a writer and artist. You have, mm. there's no editor to say you can't take more chances. Take a fucking chance, right? We've, we've drooled over comic books that. We had no idea where they were going, but you could see them just being like, I've had this thought. I'm just going to go for it. This one seems so reserved with making sure that this girl's eyes are as big as windows and they're full and they're like, she could be a Disney princess. Great. You got her under lock, but where's the stakes, man? Yeah. Well, to be fair, it is image printed, so it's not it's not indie, right? So there is there would be an editor, but I see what you're saying, but like the, just the 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 um you can't really disagree with the writer as an artist if you're doing both, right? <laughs> so it's your thought, it, yeah, right? It's your so. thought, yeah. It's funny you bring up Disney. We don't usually do this, but uh I read the back too, which actually has more words than the the national yeah, the, comic. The, the blurb at the bottom talking about Did you read it? The ulcer? Yeah, I did. Yeah, really cool because he did start out working for Disney, like the, this 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 creator, and you and, see the original concept for it. Yeah, you see the original concept, but you also see that back in like 2010, he was trying to pitch this animation, this this animated show around, and in that show, it was a failure. Nobody took it, but right. in that show, he had an idea for a mermaid yes. yep. in a contraption that like was full of water, which I think is cool. I like ideas like that that. Have stood a lifetime almost because you you are correct. Now, if you were asking me, would I keep reading based on his letter to the audience? Yes, yes, yeah. It's more interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Get, the background. You get exposition. Yeah. You get background. You get you get stakes. You get where this started and where it's going. There's so much more intrigue in one page than he did in what thirteen. Is that a good sign? I no, think but I, I'm happy that you at least workshopped something that. That's the only thing that lets me know there's more to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if yeah. normally we didn't read that, I'd be like, fuck this shit. <laughs> my, my thing is always like, because I've been burned by like single issues before, like first issues, and was like, ah, that's not enough. All right. And then it gets either really good or it gets really bad, like right. soon after. So that's why I'm always like, I try and get things, in, and it kind of goes against the whole idea of first glance. Uh, actually, not really, because I don't really rate them, but... Um, Unless you want to change first glance, and first glance is two episode, two issues. Two issues. And, yeah, call it something least. else. That's that's the that's the. It's the two sides of a coin, man. It's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Be, it's beginning of the middle, you flip a coin, right? I guess we could do start doing that, but I don't know if you want to. It's season three stuff. Anyways, I love that you literally asked me if I want to read more comic books in our comic book <laughs> podcast, as if you get pushed back. <laughs> no, it is, it is I, a two I, comic I, I rule. to read one comic book per week. I cannot yeah. do any more. I, I live a life of leisure, and it's, it's not fit into it. Actually, that because because first glance was meant. We're workshopping right here live, which is pretty funny. Because first glance was meant to like. It's highlight. what we do constantly. Does yeah, anyone listen to us? We get first, ideas and edits. It's supposed it's to be for like new middle. comics, but we're like we're we're constantly late on the new comic thing. Correct. So if we just did two issues, it would make it its own thing. We're not late. We just got into something. We don't like getting burnt by waiting. We, we're a generation where we had to wait week to week for and month to month for things yeah. to finish out. Now we're like, there's usually a, a drop in the chat like, oh, this is coming. And then you're yeah. like, I'm going to wait another month before another yeah, one yeah, comes yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm going to start reading. It, so. Yeah. That's usually how it works too. Yeah. Listen, the comic has the quote, you may encounter de- defeats, but you may not. Sorry, let me start again. This comic has quotes such as, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated, Maya Angelou. And that's part of the reader letter, right? Yeah. So again, there's another mod- motto and mantra that the artist and artist and writer wants you to understand moving forward. Either put that in a 
uh, prologue before we start the comic. Oh, yeah. So, something to give me weight of this world and where we've been dropped in. Or if you know you're not going to use a lot of dialogue in the actual issue, man, the art's got to be fucking spectacular. Yeah, and it's the, not, the art is nice, but yeah. It's not spectacular. It's not enough to be like, I need to turn the page. To We've read stuff that read like trash, but the artwork is so good that we kept turning pages. Yeah. Yeah. So. Would you, would you count X-ray robot as that? Yes. Because yeah. we have to make a reference to X- <laughs> X-ray robot like once every four episodes. Because it started out so episodes. good. That's an, exact, that's an example. That's a great example of reading more than one issue. <laughs> this is true. My that question. That issue was incredible. My, qu- my, fr- my question to you is, when does a comic end? Does it end when the material stops and the concept in the story ends on it to be continued or it ends? Or when the when you're actually reading the last page, which happens to be a letter from the editor, which yeah. gives you so much more context to what you're reading. Yeah, it gives a lot more, a lot more depth to the character and idea. What, what is the end of a comic for you? Well, yeah, I don't usually want... Well, mm, yeah, because that's how I'm going to make my decision if I want to keep reading or not. If you say it's well, it says to it says to be continued before the editor's note. So is that what it ends? With the creator's note, yeah. Then so I wouldn't it. read anymore. That's yeah, it. This is, just, this is just like a, a book. This, this never gets concluded to me. Yeah, it's too bad. I'll let you know because I'm going to read the second issue. If it's like balls to the wall, <laughs> you'll find a way. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, you got to read this, or you'll get a text be like, you got to read this, or yeah, you're right. <laughs> But how would you not recommend this and say, go to the end, read the letter, and then go back and yeah, read the I would. I would say that, yeah. I would definitely say that. Because it did, it did pique my interest more than just the, the comedy. You're absolutely right about that. Got a point. Hey, got a point. First glance. 